Hey guys, it's me now, Jane. Today we're acting to season seven, episode nine of Buffy. We're getting to the nitty gritty, and we're barely fifty percent done this season. Last episode, um, we well, everybody else pretty much figured out that Spike has been essentially dealing with this main villain for this season more often than they have, because obviously since two episodes ago, everybody was bamboozled by their past, which is um, Dawn seeing Joyce and Willow seeing that girl that died and she was like yeah um t you know tara want to tell you something but tara wants you to not use magic and if you use magic you will destroy the world and the best way for you not to use it is to die so the evil of the season or the main villain in this case has been going against like going to them one by one and buffy she didn't know what happened she didn't know the aftermath until last episode when she came back home to see the house completely destroyed which i'm wanting to figure out how they're going to get that shit fixed like what are they going to do to fix it because that house is completely destroyed windows is busted i know like some flies and bees has been flying in that damn house since you know it's been probably a few days so wonder how they're going to get that fixed because you know um buffy does have a job and um i won't we're going to see how she does that. But they find out after stalking Spike that Spike has been getting taken over or like kind of um, mesmerized or hypnotized into killing vampires. I mean, killing humans and and some of them and also in some case, siring them. So they kill like it will be a humming from the doppelganger of the evil, I guess, in this case, that can shift into anybody's form and hums and it sets off spike like a like 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 a like a ticking time bomb and he just goes on out and that's one of the biggest things that i think baffles me about this this villain is that everybody for the past like three seasons well technically we can just say two wait spike spike became he got the chip around season four so for at least two seasons and a half we've been trying to see spike lose this chip and get this chip taken out of his head maneuvered around and we even thought that he was going to get it in like season five or whatever when he's i think it was season five yeah when he captured or was it season six whenever it was with harmony it was five he took one of the like um the the hospital people and said you better take this chip out of my head and it didn't work so the fact that this villain can just snap his head and make this chip magically not appear or work is is mind-boggling because it's like oh yeah it's gonna it's not gonna work and then he punched Xander and it worked. And that's probably one of the most shocking shits I've seen this far this season. Because what the fuck do you mean you stopped that chip? <laughs> but anyways, my voice is very much whatever is given. Raspy because I just woke up. So anyways, let's dive in. So the basement is filled with bodies? Apparently. Oh, they're cleaning. We up. <laughs> I thought they wasn't going to clean. And Spike could have sired Cal And we're waiting for him to do what exactly? Do something crazy? I guess. It's not that simple. Shouldn't we stab him? To mm. Look, Buffy knows what she's doing. Well, Xander, you know what we're all talking about. I mean, you've always been part of the Spike is Evil faction. You guys keep your heads buried in the sand. But I think we should all prepare ourselves for the possibility that William the Bloody is back. Um. Bitch! Good. I'm like, Spike? That's not Spike. Walk around for a while in my coat. Don't go soft on me now. We're right in the trench and the exhaust port's in sight. It's not my fault. It didn't work. Why do I have to do all the wet work? Hey! Right. You know the rules. I can't take corporeal form. Believe me, Boom. I would do this stuff if I could. I can't. You wouldn't. You didn't do it when you were here. In high school, only at the end, I became one with light and hope. I can't do it. Mm. I, can't, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, you should have thought about that when you killed him. Food didn't work. I screwed up. I'm little. I don't have as much blood as other people. That's definitely why. I probably should have told someone I was in. We just can't take any chances. Don't. Make it tighter. And not so good. Yeah, I would assume that they could probably break through that rope. I don't know. I mean, he can probably be strong as shit. Like, you sure he can't just rip that bitch up? <laughs> Okay, I was mm. bluffing. I hadn't really thought that one through. <laughs> Listen, this whole permanent record thing is such a myth anyway. Now, I think it would be much easier if I just called the police. Let oh. them deal with it. Yeah. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is the part where I'm not bluffing. 
Mm. I want to get arrested? Or repaint it. I just want to tell you that Buffy won't be coming in today. She's really sick. She couldn't oh. call in? Yeah. Last night she was vomiting, and then this morning she was vomiting some more, and then just when we thought she was done, she vomiting started more. vomiting again. Pretty good. Mm, pretty good. You're about to I'm get the popo. You don't have to worry about her. We'll soldier on without her here. Just um, tell her to concentrate on getting better. Out of her system. I need to find him as soon as possible. He's not answering any of his numbers. Yes. Watch his counsel. Not keep track of our lapsed employer since Mr. Giles pulled up his stake in Sunnydale. We've not made it our business to follow his every move. You don't need to get all British and dodgy. And we need to find Rupert Giles uh, as soon as possible. I thought he was about to say that's a good thing. Haha, <laughs> let her suffer. I wouldn't been shocked. I should have gave him some like music or something. Like he didn't want to hear that fucking thing talking to him. Honestly, sometimes I don't even know if that's her or not. <laughs> is it her or is it not? Like, damn. I think we need to get him some blood. Do you want me to kill Anya? Girl. No. I should probably try to wean him off humans. Anya. I'll have to make I'll go get some. Willow, what the yeah, fuck? Man. No, I have to get out of the house. Xander's installing the new windows, and he keeps giving lectures on proper tool maintenance. Mm. Tool talk, not my thing. <laughs> Thank I wasn't asking about him. Literally, ma'am. I'll be okay. She won't feel a thing. Just do it. Oh, Fast. Kevin! Cut her deep. Big. Cut her quick. It'll be over before she knows what hit her. Oh, oh my squeals. god. Is it an animal, up? please? That's not even better. A piggy! Big too big in the city was really underrated. Don't think about big. But you live off the land. You're Andrew. Everyone knows you. You play by your own rules. It's kill or be killed. That'll do, pig! Save the piggy and the holler. Mm, you're going to go to... I like 12 pork chops. Oh Two my god. Have a sausage. This is a butcher shop, Neo. We don't sell toothpaste. <laughs> um, Everything bloody. Okay. He gonna milk. He gonna be. Oh my God. He gonna be draining all the. Um. Get that bitch now. Get him. Get him, Willow. Get him. Get him. F flay his ass. I'm stop. We can't go down that arc. Oh, go get him, please. Please don't do. torture me and send me to an eternal pain dimension. Even though. You think I get satisfaction from what I did? Mm. Maybe not, but let me keep my skin, okay? No. Mm. I'm not bad. I'm not bad anymore. Use it worse. Okay. Give me your soul. Give down. me it. Then why do you need lots and lots of blood? When I'm protected by powerful forces. Forces you can't even begin to imagine, <laughs> little girl. Little girl. You she witch. Yeah, or which, as is more accurate. I am not to be trifled but with. But I am talking. Don't interrupt me. I am death. If you dare defy me, I will call down my fury, exact fresh vengeance, and make your worst fears come true. Now get your bags, bitch. Oh, I'm happy they didn't forget the bags. Oh, this can't be good. Guess who is buying mass amounts of blood at the butcher shop? <laughs> we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Careful with my coat and Feeling the Getting out, mm -hmm. right? Hey, asparagus man, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I don't believe you. I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you did. Well, then you won't mind if we ask you a few questions. You think this is a game, Junior? Oh, my God. Don, friends' lives are in danger. Oh, uh, Anya. Hey, Anya. Not on my watch. Oh! Anya. <laughs> Can you talk to that side for a second? <laughs> this is an interrogation. Very serious. She pipped. <laughs> yeah. She done smacked the shit out of this man. I'm deceased. Damn, you gotta, we gotta basically breastfeed this man blood milk. <laughs> Did you see that? I actually made him cry. You were perfect. Yeah. I was worried I overdid it with the whole easy way, hard way thing. No, mm. you were great. And I, I wasn't sure if I should slap him, but then what's the status with your guy? He's not talking yet. He's barely talking. We'll get there. How's your guy? The weasel wants to sing. Oh my god, these words? 
he'll give us information soon. Yeah, okay, thank you. Tell him some he prepped and sweet. He's like, is he orange juice? If only we were having a pretty bad withdrawal. No, not that. <laughs> Girl, he's talking what about others. Nothing. Some flashes here and there. It's like I'm watching someone else. Yeah, that was the point, to be honest. Do it. And the losing time? How long has that been going on? Mm, probably. Well, things have been wonky for me ever since I got back, ever since. Just like that? No, mm, not just like that. Not really. No surprise. There were trials. Thought. No, I, mean, I just slotted half a sunny day, old pet. I'm not really worried about being polite anymore. Not half, sir. Maybe a quarter. This is about. <laughs> Look it out on me. You figured that out just now? Right, just now? Damn. The so coup was phenomenal! <laughs> violence. Violence? Hmm. William, the bloody, now has insight into violence. <laughs> <laughs> the poet. Sorry about that. She shouldn't have hit you. Why are you letting him go? Like he won't escape. Sir. She torches them. Anyone who incurs her wrath. One time she... Not mm -hmm. never mind. What? There was this one guy. He, uh, he hurt her real bad. Mm -hmm. So she paid him back. She killed him. But she mm -hmm. did it real... Empty. Without anything to look forward to. I'm wondering this about. Sounds bad. Well, then she tore his intestines and rubbed it in his face and took pictures of it. Oh, God. But she's downstairs now. Mm. Don't worry about her. They can talk about yourself yeah. a little bit. See, the thing is. That's what we need to know. You're going to tell us right now. Anya, no. Anya. Lord have mercy. The rope. Harris? Oh, my God. Every episode. He gets slapped like. I was about to say, when that, when that, when that vision going to come through? Well, Got ourselves a problem. And what is that? Do he hear? Wait, is he is he hearable? Or are you just hearing spikes in? Cause. The, the, <laughs> who are you talking to? What's that? I heard you through the door. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Who's this? Uh... Now you can talk. No. Or I can keep hitting you. Believe me, I'd love to keep hitting you. Spike. I'm oh, fine, Buffy. Really. You mind? No, he got you again. Damn, we ain't gonna get nowhere. I told you he could break through that shit. Like, I got put. Oh my god. Kill Jonathan? I mean, Andrew? I won. I won. I want no Buffy. Let him finish the job. Somebody gotta kill this man. And it's gonna be Spike today, clearly. I don't know. I mean, Spike and I were having a conversation and he was fine. I mean, you know, fine as Spike can be. And he was talking to someone. I heard through the door he was having this conversation. And then he started singing. Maybe it's another musical. No, hell no, girl. It's a brainwashing term. It's how the military makes sleeper agents. They... Military they brainwash operatives and condition them with a specific trigger. Well, what if Spike's ghosts have figured out a way to not only haunt him, what if they figured out how to, to. how to control him? Mm -hmm. I don't know, Guns. How, how do we make it stop? We don't know, because we can't see it. Well, usually anymore. the operative completes his task and either blows his head off or steals a submarine. I did this to him. Spirits, ghosts, demons, checked a lot of them. Look for anything that could haunt or, or possibly control like this. I need to know exactly what we're dealing with. Well, it's something that we don't even know what we're dealing with, to be honest. Like, shit, I hope we find out what this person is, this thing is by the end of this episode. Like, what if it's the principal? Like, I don't want to think it is, but nobody can be trusted here. Don't tell me some kids. Don't go in there. Why would you even suspect that room, actually? I'm going there, actually. I want to see what you're trying to do. Bro, don't prove me right. Don't prove me right. Don't prove me right. Don't. He found a okay. He found dead Jonathan right there. All right. Damn. She kicked the blood out of his lips. I think we do. Something's playing you. Some ghost or demon has figured out how to control you. 
And there has this theory that okay. you're being triggered. Hopefully pulling yourself up. I thought you were about to escape. You, uh, Amy, I'm well aware of what you're capable of. What do you oh. mean, the real you? You got off easy, too. You want to know what I've done to girls Dawn's age? I don't need to. Why are you talking about Dawn age? Yo, calm it down. Me, I'm going to figure out. I've never really asked yourself why you can't do it. Off me. After everything I've done. I ask, I ask, I ask the same thing. You. I mean, I ask the same thing. Because I saw your penance. Window dressing. Be easier, wouldn't it? Mm, right to get off. Yep. What the hell is we doing, Lord? Who the fuck is that? Them damn, them, them, them bitches. Them bitches. We just fixed the house. Bruh. Don't piss me off, bitch. I swear to God. How? Ugh. And he just, he definitely evolved. Like, he just, he just buried him. Like, am I right about this man? Like, <laughs> I sit here and say I can't trust him, and he out here disposing bodies. Like, damn! Oh my god! Ah! How many bitches is they? They spawning? Uh, Who they getting, Jonathan? Oh! Why do y'all keep saying like this, baby man? Let that demon die! <laughs> uh -huh. So you're not going after Buffy, they're going after the... Hmm. Kill him! Yes! All of them, no prisoners. They got his ass, didn't they? Damn. He going out the wind. Well, okay, but will they get the knife to cut the rope to get Jonathan, maybe? I mean, Andrew, shit, I've, he, his name, not even important anymore. It's all the same thing. Spike's ghosts. The people that you guys saw from beneath us. Yes. The first. The first. The first? Then what? The Picture first evil? Wiped out our records. The first what? contact with operations in Munich. Switzerland and Rome. Bitch, there's evil outside. Sir. Find it. No! Find the fucking evil or so help me and find Giles. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to learn. They're gonna die. As soon as possible. Okay. In preparation for mobilization. Mm. Once we're accounted for, you shall make your war. Mmm. Yeah, I dying. All of y'all. Yeah. What the fuck did Bob blew up? Like, was that there? <laughs> Let me stop. What the fuck are they doing, Lord? Oh. Is they just torturing him because he was telling the tea? Oh, don't look at me that way. I wanted to do this more subtle life. Just to do the honors. The honors of what? I have to admit, I'm glad it worked out this way. I was going to bleed Andrew, but I see what a real vampire looks like. Who? Okay. Oh my God, Jesus! Get that! He's just bleeding, Lord. What the fuck? Um, <clears throat> uh, was that the first vampire? I mean. Did she say, I want to see what the first looks like? Um, <laughs> hold on, hold on, give me a second. This gave me more questions than answers, actually. So, did they, so, okay, so I was right. I, the it was first evil, that was the name. I didn't even know that was the, I didn't even know that was gonna, they was gonna call it. I thought they was gonna call it Hellmouth because Willow said in the beginning of the season that it was Hellmouth and I'm surprised she did. I think she, did she tell them that it was Hellmouth? I don't even remember her telling them that it was Hellmouth that she knew was on the rise. And I just low key thought that since Buffy, you know, realized that everything was from eat, like from the underground, like I was saying, that it was going to be like Hellmouth. But she said the first, the first. And I'm just like, the first of every enemy that, like, like I was confused. I was like, what is she talking? 
<laughs> so what is she talking about the first? Um, but the first evil, which means that I guess the first big bad or the first of amongst all, amongst the many, or maybe that the evil, the first evil that has been inspiring all these other villains um, for centuries, therefore several slayers. But it also makes sense as to why they were going out killing people. I think they were killing the Watchers and the Slayers. And that's why they are going after Buffy now, since that whole group is about going against evil. Now, my big concern is... Did they go after Andrew because he failed to do what he asked? Because obviously I know or I felt like Warren was working with the evil maybe because the first evil was able to shift into him. Even though I know that Buffy ain't working with the first evil but he can shift into her. But is Warren a part of... I mean, well, Warren is evil. So clearly I'm trying to figure out if Warren is working with the first evil because since he's evil... The first evil, right? Into one, but Warren, at the, yeah, so Warren was helping. So I guess since Andrew fumbled in trying to help them, and since he was captured, and the first evil knew that John, Andrew wasn't going to do nothing else but snitch and tell the, the the information, he had him get killed, and he snatched up Spike. But my thing is, why did the first evil give Spike so many chances? But with Andrew flopping, he automatically just tried to snipe him out. So that proves my point that all them things that was coming out was definitely going for the good. Now, I want to know how they bombed the the Watcher Council because that was a shocker to me. Like, they just said, we're going to go to Hellmouth, we're going to go to Hellmouth, and then they just get bombed, which, you know, um, congrats, happy, some, I'm happy they died. Because I will never forget 312 and 512. You sent Buffy to her fucking death and her mom to her death by that fucking vampire to prove her significance. And then you come in 512 to do nothing while Glory's about to kill everyone. Because you didn't believe this shit. That, like like y'all made it a joke. Therefore your death is a joke. Therefore I don't care. When you go against Buffy, it costs you. And the council was been waiting for their downfall. I was shocked that they were even trying to help. With, with Giles and shit like that. But instead they all blew up. Now I don't know if they blew up to like go underground. But it looks like everything blew up as in death. So rest in peace question mark. I honestly don't know. Like it, it exploded. But like I would expect that the council would have had some advanced like escape routes. I honestly don't know. Like the building looked so different from for a second. That I was like did they just bl blow up? Like. Fuck y'all council. I will never forget what I did to my kids. Therefore, y'all death did not hit or did not shock me in the least. Because I just said they were going to die. And I didn't mean it in, in a literal sense as of right now. Next, um, we can talk about... Um, yeah, like, I don't... Like, the first evil, that... That confused me. Like, I can't... No! You know what really confused me? That principle. That principle is involved. I don't care. I don't think... I don't know if... I don't, I'm not going to sit here and predict too much. But if he's the first, he, like, like he can't be the first evil. Like he can't be. But if he is, um, what the fuck? Because I said I didn't trust this man because he so willingly was able to want to work as principal at this fucking haunted ass site, which is Sunnydale. He has information about Buffy, even though I would expect that she would have been burned in the school. Like I don't know. And then the way that he was so happy to accept Buffy into working at this school with no with no um, resumes, with no information about how she can handle kids, and she, he got knowledge of her not going to school and having a low GPA, or whatever, whatever, or her missing school so much, but was like, yeah, you can connect with these kids. And then was like, oh yeah, those others is troublemakers. And I'm just like, how do you know this much? First of all, I think the biggest sus for me was him accepting Buffy into the school with little to no effort. Like, don't isn't there a process of working with kids as a counsel? And he just let her in. He automatically was okay with her missing work. And then he leaves to go home, essentially. And then just somehow senses that there's a dead ass body down the floor, down the hall, into a open door, lifts the body up drives and buries it how did he coincidentally have a shovel in his, his car beyond me he shoveled his body 
No emotion, no anything. Like, is he getting control too? Or is he a part of the evil too? Because, or maybe he's just like the, the easy one in that's getting information from Buffy and seeing what she'll say so he can run back and tell her the first evil because there's just no logical way that. I mean, well, once again, Sunnydale, people are so normally used to everything being out of, out of Ray. Um, like two kids that Dawn hung out with that we never saw again, um, was seeing Buffy kill vampires and they never talked about it. But I don't know, like he buried somebody <laughs> and is about to go back to work and not give a fuck. Like, I need to understand. <laughs> I need to understand, like. I need to understand, is he part of it? Like, is he really a part of it? And I was right. I hope I'm not. But I kind of hope I do. Because, you know, that took my horn a little bit. Because, like, I always get, I be getting some right stuff. Like, I be shocked when y'all be like, because I don't, I don't obviously see spoilers anymore. Because I've been avoiding, like, like a fucking wildfire. But y'all be like, you're so close. I'm just like, really? I, I just ramble about shit for forever. But I kept saying I don't trust this man. And then he just literally buries a body. Warren and Andrew, they still taunting me in their dreams. Um, Andrew, you almost died. And I was so happy. And then you got saved. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, Andrew got saved two times this episode. Like, what is going on? He is not memorable in the least. Let him go. Now, that first vampire, the first real vampire, I'm guessing that's the first vampire ever. I don't know because it kind of looks like the masters, you know, because they said that the, the older they get, the more they don't like human and he surpassed looking human. So that must be the first ever vampire. Um, and the fact that, it, you know, damn, like they really cut up Spike like a gourmet meal. So maybe I guess the next episode is going to be finding Spike and also finding um, the first evil or whatever the case may be or doing research. So we're finally getting to the nitty gritty of what the fuck this villain is. We got... Now two more episodes before we hit the fifty percent mark, and we still don't know what Daddy Giles is. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Um, I feel like for the rest of the season, it's going to be just hardcore, 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 hardcore. But I did enjoy the moments between Anya and Xander. I missed them interacting and talking, so it was cute to see them. You know, torturing Andrew. Um, it was deserved, even though Xander begins slap now. Like it's a damn comedic relief, I guess. But I ain't laughing. So I'm smacking my son. And Willow threatened Andrew. Yes, Andrew, I want you to know that... First of all, he's dumb. Because you knew that Willow don't even have the red bob. And you're just like, oh, you don't have it. After she already dragged your ass to the destination. Clearly, we're getting good and good and good. And these episodes are getting spicy, spicy, spicy. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. So, anyway, that's my season 7, episode 9, Reaction to Buffy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for my Buffy reactions. Patreon, link below to full Buffy, Angel, Sailor Moon, Teen Wolf, and The Last of Us reactions. Twitter and Discord will be linked to see whenever I post and upload. Until next time, make sure you be safe. Peace.